All right, I'm back after like a month. Okay, so let's get let's get straight to the point. So realism dispatch enhanced. It makes the cops in the game a lot harder to beat, and it adds a whole bunch of new cop cars. As you can see, it even adds the Coast Guard. That's how good this mod is. That, that's how good this mod is. So, Realism Dispatch Enhanced and Pack File Limit Adjuster and Heat and heap Adjuster. Those are the three things you're going to need. So, as you can see, a whole bunch of, you know, videos and, you know, photos. You can, you can look at that some other time. So... Uh, download, um, do not download this version. Do not download this version. This version is broken. It has an outdated game config that will crack, that will cause your game to crash. So, down in the description of this mod, down in the description, you're going to see this. Official Realism Dispatch Enhanced Discord Server. So, you're going to want to hold the left click and then just drag it all throughout there. And then, right click and copy. Go up to here. Discord. I'm already in it. And as you can see, you know, this is the newest version that they just released today. So, um, yeah, RDE 3.17. Once you're in their Discord, um, just go ahead and go, you know, click on the Google Drive. It's not a virus, I promise you. Download and then download anyway. So, once you've downloaded it, you're going to want to go ahead and go into your downloads folder. And then RDE 3.17, right click and open with WinRAR. You're going to need WinRAR. If you do not have WinRAR, then, um, then just use 7-zip or something like that. Anything that you can use to open up your zip files will work. So, all right, so here we go. So here we go. So, uh, clean GTA install photo for, you know. Also, make sure your mods folder does not have any mods in it before you install this because it may or may not break it. Uh, I just deleted my mods folder and then made a new one. Uh, and, you know, it was fresh, you know, whatever. Like, almost no mods at all. So, Alright, so this OIV file, you're going to need OpenIV for this. Otherwise, this will not work. So, you're going to want to take this OIV file in the RDE file, or in the RDE zip file. You're going to, you're gonna, you know, take left click, you know, hold left click, drag it into there. And, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then, you see, 3.17, updated files for compatibility with game version 1.63. Uh, removed Crusader 2 from script and mail files due, due to crashing issues. Uh, 3.16 had a lot of crashing issues, so do, so do not install that one. So, install. Always make sure to install into your mods folder. Never install into your game folder unless the creator tells you to do so. And if he tells you to do so, then go ahead. But I'm not responsible for any damages done to your game files or just your computer in general. So, mods folder, and then confirm installation. See this? This package cannot be uninstalled automatically. The only way you can uninstall this mod or any OIV mod is by making a whole new mods folder. That's the only way that I know so far. That's the way that I do it. And it, it's annoying because you have to download like, you have to drag like 80 gigabytes of something through File Explorer and it takes quite a long time. But that's whatever. So, obviously, um, uh, what was I going to say? So yeah, RDE 3.1.7. That's RDE. That's Realism Dispatch Enhanced. But you're gonna you know you can go ahead and close out open ID. You won't need it. But you will need your main directory. So go ahead and open up File Explorer. Hold on, wait. And then go into this PC, local disk, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. And here is your main directory. So you're gonna need three other you're gonna need two other things for this. Pack file and heap adjuster. Hold on, wait. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um. So yeah, you're gonna need pack file limit and heap adjuster. So once you so, click download. Click the green download button again. So once you've got that, open up your. Sorry guys, I'm eating. Um, but yeah. Uh, open up your. You know your downloads, and so I've already downloaded it. So I don't know why I downloaded it again, but. Once you've got pack file, or just go ahead and download both of them. You know, download. You know, yeah, just just click both of them. So, once you've got both of them downloaded, you start with pack file. So, once you have pack file, highlight both of these. Do not highlight those. This will like literally drag your entire fucking downloads into your main directory. Actually, I'm just I'm gonna open up both so I don't have to go back in the mods folder or back back in the uh, you know, downloads. So, pack file, drag and drop. I already have it in there, but 
you know, if you don't have it already installed, it shouldn't say, like, you know, this file that it already has two names, so. So, uh, and then heap adjuster, drag and drop, and that's pretty much the entire process. Um, I'll go in game and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like, but first let me go ahead and pause this. Alright, and we are in game. So, alright, so, uh, just to get straight to the chase, I'm gonna teleport to one of the police stations. So I already have an impounded car, so, you know, I just teleport, so, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport. You know, police station, gonna have to let everything load in before. Okay, everything's loaded in. So, let me go into God mode real quick. So, so, let's say I'm gonna start a massacre. Let's say I'm just walking by and then all of a sudden, hold on, wait. Let me do something real quick. Um, sorry, guys. Um,. What the fuck? Okay, well. Alright, sorry. So, like I said, let's say I'm strolling by, you know, as a mobster or whatever. I pull out my time again, right? And I just start blasting everybody I see in sight. See that in the bottom left right there? Shots fired. Use of deadly force is now authorized. Uh, fleeing suspect has been identified as the mob no one. That's really what I found cool about this mod. So, it not only does it add this, but, I mean, it also adds different outfits for the cops. See, like, um, the guy that I killed right here, I didn't think it was a cop at first. Like, I genuinely did not think it was a cop at first, but it was another cop at first. And so, you know, a whole bunch of units start to show up. And, you see that? I'm already at four stars. That's how insane this mod is. So, I start blasting everybody, right? And so... Increase one of other. Okay, what? So I'm at five stars. Um, I'm pretty sure I have six stars enabled. If not, uh, just take my word for it. Just take my word for it that it does have six stars. I just maybe I don't have it. Anymore. But yeah, as you can see, look at look at these uniforms. They're like they're pretty realistic. They're so much better than the normal. Also, um, they they update a whole bunch of cars. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's a pretty cool mod. I mean, I like it. I like the mod. I think it's cool. Um, yeah. See, see that you don't see those numbers on like vanilla cop cars. And also, see what the swap pulls up in? They literally pull up in literal insurgents. That, that's what I like about this one. It adds so much diversity. It's not just really shitty vanilla cars. It adds so much diversity. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much just, um, you know. Pretty, yeah, see, they show up in, um, Annihilators. Kind of like a GTA 4. It's like a GTA 4 feeling in this mod. This mod, it, like, it gives, like, a GTA 4 feeling. So, like I said, very cool mod indeed. Um, download it. I'll leave the description. I'll leave the description. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much just the entire mod. Uh, yeah.